Hey guys, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to have a lot of fun here in the Mansfield, Ohio area. Uh, we are going to retrace some of the filming locations from the iconic movie Shawshank Redemption. And so, to start the day, here's where the film actually started. At this cabin here. Actually, uh, Andy Dufresne parked his vehicle here, had a few drinks. Uh, thought about doing some bad stuff when he found out what was going on over here in this cabin, which they're actually doing a bridal shower here today. But uh, this is where it all started. Whether or not he committed the crime or not, it's still up in the air, right? Uh, but yeah, this is where uh, potentially he made some bad choices, and this is where the film kicks off. Uh, from here, well, we gotta go to the big house, huh? Going to the big house together. Here we go. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. One for each of your victims. So be it. Well, guys, here we are at the Ohio State Reformatory. This is where they shot most of the film of Shawshank Redemption. And they do self-guided tours. So we're going to go inside, check it out. And here is the electric chair that they used. You know, kind of rustic. And there's the control station to power the electric chair. Stairwell from the movie. And this room in here, the warden's office. So if you see it from this angle, this is where they had to bust out the glass to get in, to get him to turn off the music here in the office. Old Andy Dufresne there. Yeah, you might recognize the views out this window. When the warden was getting busted, they had all the cops coming down the road here. And he went into the drawer there, pulled out a gun, and uh, took care of business right there. And of course, the iconic safe. Andy took the contents out of there and uh, mailed them. It's cool because they have a lot of information about the prison. They don't have a whole lot of information about the movie filming stuff is the only thing. But I recognize a lot of the scenery. Check out this hallway. Look at the walls and ceiling peeling. Here's the uh, chaplain's quarters where uh, Red went in and eventually uh, got paroled. A cardboard cut out of Red. And this is where they uh, make their decisions on whether or not you're gonna get paroled. I will just mention, uh, uh, there's no air conditioning in this building. And in the summertime, it's flat out warm. They got little fans throughout, but uh, they're not doing much. An old bathroom of sorts. Must be the warden's bathroom. Wait, why is it pink? I don't know, the warden's wife's office? You gotta love the architecture, though. I can see why they picked this prison for the movie. It's actually really pretty. One thing you can't tell about the movie is that the, the staircase that they use so many times, it goes all the way down to the bottom, bottom floor and just continues to go all the way up, too. So they could have used different parts, uh, different levels for different scenes, too. Sometimes after work, I go to the park and feed the birds. This is Brooks Bench from the movie. No birds though. This is the spot. Can you imagine what it was like for the old man? I mean, every year of his life was in a prison. He was institutionalized. And uh, just the idea of things 50 years later, just, I mean, cars terrified the heck out of him and he didn't even know how to survive out here. He just loved his birds and stuff. But yeah, poor Brooks. Uh, a couple blocks down is actually uh, where he lived after he got out, so we'll go check that out as well. Mansfield is a really old city, by the way. A lot of their architecture is clearly over a century Sadly, the Brewer Hotel is no more. This is where old uh, Brooks moved in. He worked at the market down the street, but this is where he lived. Uh, upstairs, 
Although the interior shots were actually not filmed inside this building. So this is, this is the inside of what we saw earlier at the Brewer Motel. A cardboard cut out there of Brooks. And what you'll most notice about this room though, you actually have to look up. Because as you can see, Brooks was here and so was Red. I don't remember this specific room in the movie, but this is the, the chapel of the prison here. Wow, wow. Okay, now we're gonna go check out the cell blocks. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's like five floors of cells. Make that six. There are six tiers. Wow. Oh man. Can we go to this one? Can we go in here? Cozy. Ugh. I mean, look at the ceilings and the walls. That's insane. Uh, downstairs, that's one of the uh, guided tours there. Leading the group. <laughs> they got him in line. That's funny. Yeah, maybe you get a unique experience with the guided tour, but uh, nah, I'm gonna... let's go downstairs. Cozy. Mm -hmm. And remember Andy Dufresne's first night? He cost red. Uh, what, two packs of cigarettes? Yeah, he didn't make a peep in his cell. He did not. <sighs> don't look down, guys. Just <laughs> don't look down. <laughs> Man. Here we have the, the library. Uh-huh. They're doing a tour down here, but we're in the uh, shower room here from the movie. See all the uh, shower heads all the way through here? I don't think they were very warm. You know, classic shower scene. Check out this twisting staircase all the way to the top. Wow. Now here we are on, uh, well, the first floor of those six tiers. Intense. Check out all those layers of paint. Okay, we got the green, the brown, the yellow, the black, and then just surface rust. So here in the bullpen, they have the uh, sewer pipe that uh, Andy Dufresne used in the movie. This is a Hollywood prop. But we can get a look inside here and see how narrow it was when Andy was crawling through here. Okay, also for Andy's escape, you wondering how they uh, did this scene when they pulled back the poster. Well, here's the tunnel through the office that they used. So over on this side where the sun's at, the, the cells are a little different, but also you have rooms like this. I think this is the hole. Solitary. I mean, what are you gonna do? Just lay down? If that's not motivation to be good, I don't know what is. Not that the alternative is any better. Oh, here's the actual solitary wing. So, a shower at the end of the tier, and then big steel doors, so no bars. I gotta rank this one right up there, like movie stuff aside, rank it right up there with Alcatraz Island Tour. I would, it's a lot of fun. Again, here we have some different cells. Porcelain toilet, sink, and a steel bed. All right, Red says this is the central guard station of the prison now, so they would monitor. But actually, I think this was used as the cafeteria in the movie. I'm not 100% sure about that. Well, I'll bet I influenced at least a couple people to watch Shawshank Redemption after my video. There's still more to come, though. 
we're gonna leave here and we're gonna go see what uh, Brooks and Red did after they left. Well, here in uh, Ashland, Ohio, the Farmer's Bank. So when Andy Dufresne got out, he came to this location for the exterior, I think for the interior as well. This is where he put the documents from the warden's safe into an envelope, put it in the outgoing mail. Well, that was at this bank right here, which is no longer a bank. It's now just the Crosby Advisory Group, but uh, you know, the old concrete pillars still, still remind you that it was the bank. Recognize this road, guys? Yeah, old Red, after uh, being paroled, got a truck ride coming down this road. And truck driver came down to this intersection right here, and uh, Red got out. The truck continued on down this road, and uh, Red continued walking down this road. You can kind of recognize part of the road down there and the structures down there. Off to find what Andy left for him. The movie also put in a little sign off to the right that said Buxton. And uh, here we have movie site Shawshank Trail. Huh. Sorry guys, but uh, the oak tree is no more. I'm a couple years too late. It has actually uh, fallen down, but it used to be out in this field. Andy Dufresne and Red's trail has gone cold. Darn it. I mean, there's lots of other uh, baby oak trees around here. What is that? grand here. No, Red would have wanted it left here. Yeah, we'll just keep it here. Okay. 